It doesn't excuse what he said at my wedding, but I do understand where his anger came from. <laughs> Freya, there's something I've always wanted to ask. What was it Grimthur whispered to you? Who? Grimthur, the son of Thormur, the stonemason, who disguised himself and built Asgard's wall. Old. We will finish later. You left something out in the realms, I assume you want. <laughs> Good thing we didn't miss this. Got time to chat? <laughs> This is the place. We need to work our way up. This way. Through the ice? Oh, are the norms making magical ice walls now? No. I think the water just froze. I didn't tell them to be here. the Norns did to trick all these raiders into guarding them. Not that they have any idea that's what they're doing. was not your focus. The sooner we find your son, the sooner you'll be able to focus. I just hope it works. Just the same. Thank you. A fine sentiment, but write on a bloody note when we're out of the cold, brother. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> 
Brother, this way seems like a way out, not a way in. I concur. The Norns are further up. Always the third place you look. <sighs> is everyone hearing that creepy whisper? It is like an itch in the mind. It means we've stepped into their domain. Be ready for anything. Illusions. Projections, possibly. But assume that there's no telling what manner of creature they've made unwitting guards. Delightful. Kratos. Ghost of the Fall. Bane of Olympus. Destroyer of Fate. Cruel Strike. Bringer of War. Weapon of the Gods. Minds yet. He certainly seems real enough. I hate to tell you, the parts in your mind will be real too. <laughs> Whoa! 
This place almost looks familiar, but different, like a confused memory. A rather hostile memory at that. These fates should know I will not be deterred. Here we go. Council and Tickings. Merry Wanderer of the Woods. Robin of the Pure Let me guess. I'm a long-winded know-it-all and I cannot change. See? You forgot smartest man alive. <laughs> <laughs> Well, certainly clinks like genuine hack silver. I suppose there's one small consolation to this ordeal. At least we won't have to introduce ourselves. Don't credit your reputation, Mimir. Huh? They see the whole lives of any who approach them. A phantom! The Norths have a phantom? Of course the Norths have a phantom! Ah! 
This way. The Norns are somewhere in that cave just ahead. <clears throat> There's that itchy sound again. Normally, I don't mind ladies whispering in my ear, but this is positively awesome. Anyone ever tell you that you babble when you're terrified? Terrified? I'll have you know I'm at the very most deeply apprehensive. And breaking tension with humor is the sacred duty of a traveling companion. Hey, how very dare you! Babbling! The door. Oh! That looks official. Mother. My boy. Feel everything. Walter, listen to me, please. Stop! Why did you bring him here? You are not welcome here! Wait! Walter, come back! Talk to me! You Hold off! Why did you never turn on Odin? But I did! I tried to stop him any way I could! Don't lie! You served Odin from the day you met him to the day he put you in that tree! You sought favor! You wanted his war! You watched him mistreat! I became 
him a better man. You served Odin from the day you met him to the day he put you in that tree. You sought on him. You wanted him more. You watched him mistreat everyone and everything. And you never yet my day until he turned on you. I know secrets. It's true, all of it. But for love of you, I became a better man. A counselor for peace, an ally to all those who... Will you like my ally to Freya in his suffering? To Scott? To Roma? Or to Tanya? No! You all took the side of the powerful men who used it! Even now, you see a violent gun in me, and you can't help but hate him and call him brother. It's who you call me! It's who you are! And it's who you It is not her. No. Of course. Brother, the tree! It's pulling me in! Mamir! Brother, help me! Monster! Atreus! I am coming! Get me up! Yeah! Why didn't you trust your own son? Don't let him take me! Try it. I'm getting it! Why won't you see him the way he wants to be seen? Didn't feel much like succeeding. I see the door has disappeared. Or it was never there. They toy with us still. What is that? I can't. Copy. 
Don't see many of those in these parts. She must be theirs. Will she take us to them? I'll ask her. Nicely. Easy, girl. Easy. That's right. Good. You have to talk about whatever the norms put you through? No. Get on. That's a good lass. Lovely creatures, but temperamental by reputation. In my land, they'd keep children away from the lost by telling them a Kelpie would drown them. Of course, no Kelpie I know would do such a thing. Unless it was disrespected. It walks on water. Aye. No mystical water steeds to speak of in Greece, brother? Hmm. There were the Hippocamps. They served the Sea God. I battled one upon a Titan. <laughs> that might not be her favorite subject. We're here. Fate's own hideaway. Never doubted we'd make it. Kratos, Freya, and Mimir's head. Enter the home of the Norns. Tentatively. They have finally reached their destination. Kratos speaks first. I, I seek, seek my, my son! son. <laughs> you know the child is an Asgard. No, you seek what all who search for us seek. To know the ending to your story. The ghost of Sparta furrows his brow menacingly. He resists the urge to grunt. Oh, he fails. You come to us, piteous archetypes, seeking freedom from your scripts, as if knowing your lines would grant you the power to rewrite them. Speak plain. <laughs> you will die, Kratos of Sparta. But you called him the destroyer of fate. There, there must, must be a way, a way to subvert, subvert destiny. destiny. There is no destiny, Puck. The protagonists are speechless. They do not understand. There is no grand design, no script. Only the choices you make. That your choices are so predictable, merely make us seem prescient. When, when my son was born, born shut up! up. <laughs> Your prophecy said he would die a needless death, and he did. Because you could not let him go. Because he thirsted for revenge. And because you kill gods. But what Kratos did, it was not out of hate. Should I bring him a crown then? He still slays gods, but now he's sad about it? You are the sum of your choices, nothing more. And because your choices never change, you will learn that Heimdall intends to kill your son in Asgard, and you will do what you do best. And then Ragnarok. The skies burn, the curtains fall. Exunt omni. Heimdall. <laughs> Again, he misses the point. Focusing on the second act to the exclusion of the final. A common mistake in Storycraft. We are yeah, leaving. leaving. He stomps away, followed closely by Freya. I enjoyed your story, Kratos. Pity it has to end so soon. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
That was... educational. <laughs> Let us leave this place. Happily. Things getting more normal already. Wait, that tree. Well, isn't that interesting? What is this? That's the noose, brother. The one Odin hanged himself with. As part of his endless mad quest for secrets of life and death and what have you. What are you doing? It's a charged object, significant to Odin. Perhaps I'll find a use for it. Brother, what they said about the boy... Will not happen. Oh, I agree. It will not happen. We will not let it. Of course we bloody won't. The question is how? You wouldn't seriously consider killing Heimdall, would you? I will do what I must. Oh, is that all? You're wrong to dissuade him, Mimir. You know Heimdall. I grant you that he's a spiteful, vicious little shit. And so loyal, Odin entrusted him with Galahorn. If we have the chance to eliminate him before Ragnarok, we shouldn't hesitate. Considering his powers of foresight alone, that is an if of mountainous size. Even supposing we're all perfectly comfortable plotting an assassination, and I, for one, am a mite rusty at that measure, we've got no way to reach Heimdall, and no way to kill him if we did. I have killed gods greater than him. I don't doubt that, brother, but it's hardly my point. We're missing the Norn's message here. We've all got our tendencies, and yours is to run headlong into danger to protect the ones you love. I do not intend to change. Not about that. Why should you? Apparently my tendency is to kill the ones I love. Freya... I don't need you to comfort me. Either of you. Their accusation was cruel. None of us believe... The truth can be a cruel thing. Anyone care to argue with that? No. But Baldur's fate had many causes. Prophecy among them. How do you mean, brother? There are many tales in my homeland of those who fulfilled prophecy by attempting to avoid it. So it was when Freya tried to protect Baldur. And so it was when I accused my son of going to Asgard. And we agree. It'd be foolish to go after Heimdall. No. If Heimdall must die for Atreus to live, then Heimdall must die. How can you say that, knowing what you know? Because if Heimdall is a threat to my son, I must act. It is my... Your nature. Well played, Norns. <gasps> Freya. 
Let us find a gateway. Return home. Consider our plans. Listen, brother. Before you make any hasty decisions, why don't you blow off a little steam? I'm sure there was some loose end we meant to circle back to. Give your mind a little time to process everything. I suspect there's unfinished business here at the lake, though I'm certainly happy to spend time somewhere other than Midgard. It's your choice, brother. <laughs> What can I make for you? Always a joy to work on these. I'll disinfect my tools. Anything more to discuss? Let's see. when you saw her last. She's still incorporeal, ever since Kratos set her free of her corrupted form. But she hasn't let that stop her from helping any way she can. The truth is, I owe her more than I can repay. I doubt she'd see it that way. When we freed her, she could speak of little else but her reverence for you. Seeing you yourself again would surely be payment enough. my wear if you got the raw materials to make them. Our souls transformed. Our minds remained. Until those two Tell me of this power Heimdall wields. He sees the future. More like he reads the person, sees their intention. My intent will be to kill him. Knowing that will be no advantage. Brother, this is no one to underestimate. Any move you make, he'll have seen it coming. If you must face him, we need something else. An edge. Humor me? Very well. We will ask the dwarves. Ah. Inevitable asking of the dwarves. Excuse me, sir. Could I have a moment of what your time? Is your it is kind of what's to be done. What? On the little end. In order. I will. You'll use this device. You mean to say you'd raise them by yourself? Indeed. I have no small experience managing extreme. No now, more. What else might there be to discuss? Back. They're back. Simmer down. I see them. I have news. Oh, 
Did the Norns tell you how to get Atreus back? Do we have a plan? The Norns say Atreus will be killed by Heimdall. The plan is to kill Heimdall first. Oh, wow. Okay, Heimdall. Let's see. Never loses. Sees everything coming. Unpopular at parties. This won't be easy. Whatever his advantages, I will overwhelm him with my own. That's the idea. You gotta overpopulate his senses, see? And I got just the thing in mind to help you do it. Sindri, go get Dropnir. Dropnir? But we need it. Our supplies. Oh, we got plenty. And to spare. Even if we did, Dropnir's no weapon. Why would a... Oh. You mean we combine it with... That's right. And then when he... It'll go... Damn you, that's brilliant. Very well. I suppose there's nothing to do, but... Go fetch Dropnir. Dropnir? I bloody knew these two had nicked it. And Odin blamed me for it disappearing. They stole Dropnir. We didn't steal nothing. We just ungifted what never should have been gifted in the first place. How will it help me kill Heimdall? Never you mind all that. It's a fucking surprise. We're artistes. But to even store Dropnir, you'd need... You were saying... So now you intend to kill Heimdall. I cannot prevent violence, Kratos. I truly thought you understood that. No matter what you thought I understood, my son is in danger. You will not allow harm to come to him. Son, we... Enough! Heimdall's a threat, not only to Atreus, but to everyone. He's Odin's left hand, and he carries the horde that begins Ragnarok. If we have the chance to eliminate him, we then should... it's just as likely a trap, because the bastard knows your intentions. Kratos, I've never seen anyone so much as lay a finger on him. Not one. Well, I gathered what's fit for gathering. How long will it take? We'll have to go to Svartalfheim to get the rest of the materials. Not to mention we'll have to visit... the lady. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, that's a relief. <laughs> Ow. Kratos? Whenever you're ready. No idea what he's on about, brother. See you out there. Ah, time to go see the lady. I'll take it from here. No, no. This whole thing were my idea. I'll speak to the lady. I never get to speak to the lady. There are reasons for that. Brock will go. What? No, no, no. I you have to. heard him. Quit your bread. I ain't gonna mess nothing up. What the? Mm. 
No, you temple shrimps. Think that'll keep us out? Well, think the fuck again. What was all that then? Oh, just since we tried to hog Same old shit. Not that. The gate. What's wrong with a bloody gate? Most likely someone in need of a limb and making a fuckery of the works. Probably on account of all that incursion in you got up to. But don't worry, you little dangling head. Old Brock came prepared. I got ways in and out from the old days. Gates did never even think to look for, on account of being stupid. Brock, where are we? This here's your stop. Abandoned service tunnel, direct to the forge camp. I'll meet you up there. Go on. Brock. And he's gone. You sure he was the right pick for this, brother? I trust him. He speaks plain. And yet so colorfully. that one. Poor bugger. Why would he hide in here? He feared something in these tunnels more than he feared starving. Hardly seems rational. Fear seldom is. Abandoned service tunnel. Careful, brother. That looks flammable. oil spill. That is not my goal. Doesn't mean it's not your destiny. What are you insinuating, Highness? Not a thing. Yeah! <laughs> 
Kratos? Kratos! Please listen. You have to let me take Brock's place. He can't talk to the lady. He mustn't. No. Do not ask again. But... Oh, dear. his fault Atreus ran off with you. Or are you just being Brock's champion? There it is again. You're insinuating and you know it. Can't the smartest man alive put it together? The giants conceal a mysterious figure who changes the fate of Ragnarok and you're oblivious to the only rational candidate. The one who's fought wars against gods as one. I am not the champion. Well, we're each entitled to our opinion. These gates seem to be connected. See if you can break that far fixture. It's open. Heartier sort of grim. These won't be easy tunnels for the dwarves to take back. You'll need to get one of those gates open. <laughs> This opinion of yours. Was that the reason you proposed this alliance? You expect me to lead your, your armies at Ragnarok? That is Tyr's job, not mine. It's plain to see Tyr's no war god anymore. Nor am I. I have left that life behind. Not killing gods you haven't. Or else what are we doing in this realm? Forging this weapon? Your choice. You know where it might lead. I am only protecting I my... know. I know. And we both know the place is protecting your child. <laughs> Careful! Those Grim are possessed by nightmares. 
They'll be even more dangerous until we stun them. Poison from above! Oh! <laughs> 